right? So I just want to show a little um, cool little app called Dropler that I've been using a little bit lately. And basically it's just a little menu bar icon uh, that sits up here. And what you can basically do is drop files, uh, yeah, files, images, um, PDFs, anything you might want to share a link to um, for other people, whether you're sharing that over Twitter or on a website or in an email, any of those kinds of things, uh, rather than having to send the file to them or maybe you're sending it to a bunch of people um, and want it to be accessible later. and would be also interested in seeing stats on how many times that file or image or whatever is viewed. And so that's where Dropler is a neat and easy way to do that kind of thing. So basically the way it works is, um, if I just for example take a photo here with Photo Booth on the Mac, just a little bit of glare, um, drag that photo out say to the desktop here so there it is and then just drag it up to Dropler so it'll do its little thinking as it's basically uploading it um, and then right away it just pops up a little tooltip and tells you that it was copied and if I had clicked that little T there it would basically open up um, open up my Twitter client the, the program that I use to uh, post out tweets and follow along with Twitter. So um, in effect I can do the same thing. These are the recent things that I've dropped or put into Dropler. So I can click that, click the T, and so it'll automatically open, in this case, uh, Tweety is the I application I use. Automatically puts the link in there. I can type a little message. And hit post and and then that link then gets automatically posted out onto Twitter. You can click that. And so anybody who clicks that would see obviously that little picture of me or whatever file you wanted to share. So that's great. Um, and I'll maybe just pause and resume here in a little bit when there might be some more stats on that. All right, so uh, now it's been a few minutes, maybe just actually one, but uh, I can go to Dropler here, the icon, and click to launch the website, and it'll basically show me now what uh, the stats are for that link that I shared. So in this case, it's been viewed eight times. I can click it and view it again if I really want to. Um, and so it's just a slick little way to share photos um, and things like that to Twitter and or Facebook, things like that, where you're maybe interested in finding out about how often it's been clicked. You'll notice that uh, a lot of stuff is zeroed out here, and mainly that's basically due to Dropler having some issues the last couple of days where it's they had some server issues that uh, it's supposed to be getting fixed shortly, but. Uh, yeah, and they're apparently going to have all the stats back and stuff, but anyways. Um, and then this is just their website where basically you can just sort by, say, images, links that you sent out, um, notes that you can share if you just want to share text or just directly to files that you are like linking. Uh, so that is what Dropler looks like and how it works. To uh, install it on your Mac, just go to dropler.com and uh, download the application and it'll install, walk you through setting up an account and then you're good to go. So let me know if uh, you found this interesting at all. I just uh, wanted to have an excuse to play with uh, ScreenFlow, the screen recording application that I'm using at work for stuff and just needed a little bit of practice with so that's the main reason why did this, but hopefully you found some value in it as well. So yeah.